cousin, she started cleaning up the house. You know, getting ready to uh, leave because I have work the next morning. So I grabbed the trash and she's like, no, I'm gonna walk with you. So we're walking through the hallway. I see two of my neighbor and uh, some guy in the hallway arguing. And the argument get a little heated. Like after I walk past him, I hear the argument get a little more heated. So I kind of like turn around. That's when I see a guy like striker. And that's when I had said something. I'm like, yo man, what you doing Put your hands on the female? Like, one of the main reasons why I did say something as she was being struck because I have a mom and I have multiple sisters. And I feel like if I'm not there to protect them, I would want somebody else that was around to step up and say something and protect them. You know, so I just did something that I would want anybody to do for my family. Um, so it was just instinctual. Um, I want to make sure this person is good. I feel like it's my place to protect those who can't protect themselves. If I can say something, then I'm gonna say something. If I need to step in, then I'm gonna step in. I look down, I just see a lot of blood on my in my jeans. So I'm like, oh man, I'm shot. Like, so I'm running down. So I live on the third floor, and now I'm running all the way down to the to the ground level. So I thought I could get to the ground level. There's a lot of people outside, but they're running from me. They thinking I'm the one with the gun. So I just hear them like, he got a gun. I'm like, look, no, it's not me with the gun. I've been shot. I need help. That's when my heart like dropped. I'm like, oh man, I'm about to die right here. Because I responded to calls where people get shot one time in their leg and they, by the time you don't see they already bled out and it's, it's too late. Like send a prayer up to God. I honestly thought I was about to die right there. So I just wanted to get right with him before it was all over. As I was bleeding out, I honestly thought this was it. So I just wanted to make sure I made that man's with him and let him know that, you know, I do believe in you. I'm sorry for all the sins that I, I committed while I was on this earth. And whatever is in store for me, I accept my fate. I'm trying to stay calm because I know if I panic, my heart rate's gonna go up and that's gonna pump more blood out. Yeah, so as he's uh, calling 911, I'm trying to, you know, stop the bleeding. And luckily I live downtown and it's not too far from a, a, a fire department, a police station. So they, they respond quicker than uh, I thought they would. Something like this was to happen when I walk out of here, I was still just, I wouldn't think about it. I just still render aid and try to help because that's just who I am.